Creating a backup set is a very important part of using Carbonite Safe Server Backup. This is where you identify the scope and type of data you'd like to protect on your server, how often you'd like to back it up, how long you'd like to keep each backup available, and any other configuration options related to the backup set. If you've just installed Carbonite Safe Server Backup, you can click Start Backing Up My Server to begin. If you already have a backup set and you want to add another one, click Add New Backup Set near the top of the dashboard. Carbonite Safe Server Backup will scan your system for installed components and suggest backup sets that fit your situation. For this demo, I'll stick with backing up the file system only. You may have to scroll down here to see the Continue button. Next, you'll choose where you'd like to store the backups. You can select Local and Cloud independently, but we strongly encourage selecting both. These last screens confirm the configuration for each backup set you had selected in the beginning. In this demo, the first screen is finalizing the file system backup. At the top, you can give it a name to help differentiate it from the other backup sets you may add. Since this is a file system backup set, you can select which drives, folders, and files you'd like backed up on the right. For local backups, you have to select the disk and folder you want your backups to go to. This can be a network location, but you'll have to ensure that Carbonite Safe Server Backup can access it, either by granting rights to the Carbonite user account or by inputting a username and password that already has rights to that location. If you're using a network location, click Verify Access to a network location to check for that access or to input that customer user. For simplicity's sake with our demo, I'll just use the default local disk location in the Carbonite Safe Server Backup Program folder. Under Backup Schedule, you'll see a default schedule. You can double-click each of these entries here to view more details and customize them. We highly recommend viewing our video on scheduling and retention concepts before making any major changes, as they can have profound effects on the success of your backup. Unless you have very specific needs that require significantly modifying a template or creating a schedule from scratch, we suggest not doing so. Select a template and the backup schedule will change automatically. From there, you can make minor customizations to fit in with your preferences, like changing which day of the month you would like a monthly scheduled backup to happen. Just double-click an entry, then make your adjustments. At the bottom, you can see and edit retention settings. Retention settings determine how long backups from this backup set are retained in your local backup location and in the cloud. The default values here set Carbonite Safe Server Backup to retain the latest two backup cycles each in Local Backup and Cloud. When you're done configuring, scroll down and click Save and Continue at the bottom. When you're through with all selected backup sets, you'll see a confirmation screen and a summary. Carbonite Safe Server Backup will then prompt you to schedule your first full backup. Any scheduled incremental or differential backups will fail until the full backup is complete, so it's important to schedule the full backup as soon as you can. You should schedule it to occur when the server is not normally in use, like after business hours. Enter a time and click OK and you're done. You'll see a summary of each backup set on the Carbonite Safe Server Backup dashboard, along with their current storage usage and schedule. Carbonite Safe Server Backup will automatically handle all the backup processes from here, depending on the scheduling and retention you've set. And you can monitor each one from this dashboard. Thanks for watching.